Welcome back to Takabola Gaming. My name is Takabola. We're going to continue today our run playing as the Czechoslovak Union, going for at least the Munich Disagreement, um, where we have to uh, occupy Munich while at war with Germany. Um, some things to recognize slash note is that uh, in the last episode, I failed to follow the guide that I'm attempting to follow very well. And I'm sorry for the echo. I'm, I'm hearing the echo right now. Um, we're working on the, the sound in the new place. But uh, anyway, the, the guide I'm following from Bitter Steel is down in the uh, description down below. As you leave this in an independent Romania, just this little bit right here. And the reason for that is that Kingdom of Hungary here, as long as there is an independent Romania, will have to take this focus to renounce the Treaty of Trianon if they um, if they don't uh, uh, if Romania still exists. But if Romania doesn't exist, they just kind of lose the the treaty. Um, so I'm hoping that they still have to do that. If that happens, um, then no one will care if we justify against them. And they may lose their guarantees. But um, at least 11 months ago when Bittersteel made that um, guide, th that was a thing that they just lose it. The Kingdom of Hungary loses that, that treaty if uh, if you, you have this uh, if Romania ceases to exist along with Yugoslavia ceasing to exist and you can't attack Hungary without attacking the Allies and that is important because the ultimate goal of this start was to restore the Austro-Hungarian Empire which we have everything for except control all Hungarian states and that would be huge because that would give us cores on all of this stuff that right now is occupied territory. Might even be worth it, because it is just control, might even be worth it to go to war with the Allies um, just to get that. Uh, but I, I, don't, I, I don't think so. So right now I'm just going to focus on getting the Munich Disagreement. Um, if there becomes an opportunity to attack Hungary, I will definitely take it. But uh, for the most part, we're just going to focus on that for now. Uh, we're getting forts there. I would like to build some forts right over here. Yeah, in these provinces, so that Germany just can't quite get um, can't quite get around us over there. But that's what we'll be building in our forts. Let's go to our occupied territories. We have this. Yes, um, we're going to go local police force on all of these just to get a little bit more um, resistance down. Maybe we can build a compliance soon. Uh, let's see if we are training anyone. We are training some units. That's very good. Uh, we don't have the artillery and support equipment to do that, but that's fine. Just checking all this stuff. Okay. All right. Let us go. How much guns do we have? We have 25,000. Um, let's switch out guns down to five, but down to four, and then we'll tell them to go back. We're not going to be building any military factories for a while, so we may have to switch that back eventually, but we need to get our stuff up and get these units out and in the field. Because we are going to have to defend uh, Bulgaria. We're going to have to defend this little area here. And hopefully our, our vassals will take care of the Albania, but we may have to help them out too. So lots of fun little bit here. But the Soviets will come in, come pouring in as well. So that's another key part of this strategy. But I do think that right now we're just waiting for the German Reich to start uh, looking at us and uh, determining if we are evil or not. Um, I have a a navy. Okay. Uh, apparently, I have not researched any uh, ships, which makes sense because I didn't have a port. Yeah, 
Yeah, so the Kingdom of Hungary, we are, you know, watching for them. We have our spy sitting there, but... If we become spy, master, spy master, we would get, um, like, four spies. We get a Soviet and a Tanatuva and a Mongol spy. That might be something to do. But we still have so many of these to get as well. Can I get extensive? I can get extensive conscription. All right. Um, I think we have one more fort to get. Am I correct? No, we have all of the forts. Okay. So the next thing on the guide would be either to go for the extra research slot with the Romanian question or to go down here. Um, I think right now... Can I bypass this? No, I can't. Why? <laughs> I, I have no idea why I can't bypass that. Because the Romanian question is, we, we, we've solved that. Um, but, uh, yeah, I do think we're, we're going to go down here. We're going to get these civilian factories. So, uh, I think it's more important than the research slot. Because we're not doing anything with Navy. We're hardly doing anything with Air Force, so... We can, we can afford to be a little bit later on some of that. Going down Grand Battle Plan may have been a smarter plan, because I don't have to spend as much time, you know, do as many of those. We are in support weapons, okay. 1938 is pretty light in tech, but 1939 is huge. Maybe I should have gone for that. <clears throat> Too late now. Too late now. I hope you're enjoying this series in the second try at it. If you are, please do like, comment, and subscribe down below. All of that good stuff. Let me know what I'm doing right. Let me know what I'm doing wrong. One thing I could do is switch these back out to here. Let's do that. That's going to change this mathematics very well, and it does, so we can actually say, hey, for artillery, uh, let's actually keep that at five, but um, you know, let's maybe go here. Yeah, let's do that. That works. And we have uh, some mountain troops. New, 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 new. I'm um, actually, you guys, you guys go here. All the mountain troops are about to be let out. You guys go there. And train up everyone to, to veteran. I think that would make sense. Uh, we need support equipment. Hey. There we go. Alright. So, you know, we're not going to be able to produce nearly as many troops as Bittersteel was able to produce in his run, but we will be able to... Uh, you know, they're still missing something. Probably support equipment. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Our agent was captured. That is not cool. All right, eight and six. Let's do that. Yeah, that works. Works for me, all, me, and we actually need a another one over there, but that's okay. Support weapons two is researched. Let's get the uh, improved infantry equipment one, and we have a new person. Uh, we could 
definitely do with an industrial research speed. Um, we could definitely do with manpower. Army logistics is not a problem. Um, oh no, Prince of Terror. We need that. I didn't know this we could qualify for that. Uh, Non-core manpower, four submissive damage to garrisons, all of that. Very, very good. And we'll just stay on this this uh, thing here while Industrial Legacy finishes up. The last couple of days of that. That's very, very, very good. All right, so we're going to go for Czech industry. There's always been tension between the Czechs and the Slovaks within our nation, but not least because... Much of our industrial power is concentrated in the Czech provinces of Bohemia and Moravia, but nonetheless, that industrial power makes it much easier to build more factories in those areas, despite how it may further upset the Slovakians. Now, uh, one thing to mention was that this you can't get on the left side. Uh, this is actually something I did in the previous game as well. Went down the left side for more civilian factories and gave up this for United Population. However, You'll notice this currently has no effect, and that is because we went over here for um, a communist support, and the communist runs. I think Czech Socialism was the one that removed the national focus a divided nation, and so we don't have to worry about that. So we can go down the far left run with complete non-worry. And the Germans have apparently really come up on our border, and they do not like their position currently. Um, I do think we should continue to do some defense. They very much do not like their position. But once the Germans do start uh, justifying against us, uh, whenever that does become a thing, um, civilian industry. We will not be able to find out if they can bypass this or have bypassed that, but they're not doing it. They're down here. And I don't know. I mean, the, if this game continues, the, the next thing to do would be to attack the Allies anyway, so after we've taken down Germany and taken down Italy, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I hope we can can take out the Kingdom of Hungary with, with impunity, but seems unlikely at this point. All right, uh, we're 1938. Uh, I do think we, we go ahead and take this one here, Special Forces, because uh, we've already taken, yeah, we've taken that, so we're good there. This all is... Uh, 1939. 1939, of course, huge for technology. Absolutely huge. Let's get a sixth, and then I'm going to make two units to do that. So this will give us six new divisions for our third army. Can I train another? I can train another one of these. I will do that as well. Still doing good on equipment there, so... Uh, mm, train another one there. We'll leave it for that. That third army should work on covering our southern flank once Bulgaria joins the Axis, which they should if they're following along. Oh, good. We have some more uh, military factories coming. Good. Build up those forts. That's big as well. We will need one more unit coming... Uh, down here just to cover this line. Uh, but we're going to get that, that mountain unit, so that'll be the unit. That will definitely be the unit. Um, my computer is not liking that. 
Yeah, we're at 28 of 29 allowed. It's going to be a bit before we can get a, another one. Oh, well, we're really small. All right, well, let's continue down the line. Industrial Heartlands, further investment focused into Bohemia and Moravia will improve our industry much far more than a broader approach. Go. All right, here we go. There is a justification against us, and here come the Soviets. And so this is one of the really big things, is they're going to come in on this. They're going to fortify some of these lines. They're going to make it uh, make it really the case that we'll be able to hopefully do this. Um, so we have 70 days, give or take. So at the end of September, I will... Uh, back from that all right so they definitely are are not doing that and she is captured so i think i'm going to become so i need an agency with three different branch upgrades to manage that okay fine you see 40 some odd divisions from the soviets so they're going to come in they're going to hold that line it's not really up to us all right, that's as trained as you're going to get, guys. That is as trained as you're going to get. Um, for now, I don't think Bulgaria is a member of the Axis. They are not yet. So we don't need to worry about that yet. My thinking is that if I attack King, you know, the Hungary, obviously these guys will join in. Um... But uh, my thinking is they would join the Allies and we'd be, be stuck. They would not join the Axis, even when we are at war with the Axis. Soviets don't seem to want to hold that line. So I know he's green, but let's put him out there. He's going to be the weak link. But I think we're going to go offensive for that anyway. All right, um, we have done all of this. That's really good. Um, probably could get military police. Or we just begin early on the 1939 stuff. We have no air. We could begin early on this stuff. It's 0.21 years ahead of time, but I, we're going to begin early. It is okay. It is okay. It will be okay. Anti-partisan is done. We have five divisions. Yes. All right. So you go there, and you four, you get to create a new army, and we need a new commander for that new army. He has nothing going for him, but that is okay. We're gonna put that new army for now, the beginnings of that army on Albania, and you cannot be teal. Seriously, there's only three colors. There's two colors so far, and you had to pick one of those two. Seriously. Alright, let's take a look at our plane situation. Um... Yeah, we're going to be right up here. I'm um, Actually, no, I want you here. And I want you to be in the Alps. Okay, no. Go right back where you were. We're going to be in the Western Balkans. We're going to try and take care of that first. Uh, that little pocket here of Italian. And we'll go from there. I have 102,000 people, but I have apparently no airplanes in reserve. Are we building any airplanes? Nope, not a one. Okay. Not the... Oh, I'm glad I clicked the right thing. <laughs> German demands for the Sudeten border territory in Czechoslovakia, which is home to a considerable German minority, have intensified recently. At a summit held in Munich, Germany, Britain, France, and Italy sought to find a diplomatic solution to the so-called Sudeten crisis. While Britain and France have both accepted German demands as reasonable, Czechoslovakia wasn't invited to the conference and has refused to yield an inch. 
now faces Germany alone. What appears a hopeless battle. Yeah, but we have industry. New industry towns. After developing the old industrial areas in Bohemia and Moravia, it is now time to build new towns to house the workers for our growing industries. Germany will declare war very soon. And so here's the question, right? All these Soviet units versus the Germans, will they be enough to hold them off? In Bittersteel's game, they were. And indeed, they are afraid. Italy has joined the Axis. And the Soviets are actually pushing out. I would accept that. Oh, Bulgaria just joined the Axis. Oh. Uh, let's not have that happen. Let's send these units out green. Um, and all of them in that unit. You can learn... Learn on the fire here. Should be 13 of you over there. Italy has joined the war. You got only one unit there? Did Zog not... Uh... Yes, you may join. Uh, expeditionary forces, sure. Join that line right there. Seriously, did Zog not not join, or what? What happened here? Did Zog not give in, or I, I don't know. So you're just going to be looking for places where you might be able to break through. The Italians, and I am noticing I would have waited much longer for that, but I am definitely noticing the same thing that the Soviets just noticed there, that this is a potential spot to break through and shorten that line. And obviously we just uh, we took all that, so uh, these four mountain units need to stop doing that. You're over here. We're not attacking Hungary anytime soon, guys. Get that out of your head. We're way out of manpower. We need to go ahead and go to extensive conscription. And uh, hopefully that army can hold Bulgaria off. But let us go. Oh, they, they moved in to defend. Did they really? Because it, it sure doesn't look like it's defended. What, what happened here? What happened here? You're going to go right there. And here you go. These two units are going to come right here. And we have one that. Let's push here. I don't think I have any units right up here yet. But I want you to, to help out with that. I'm going to, to very quickly make this happen. Actually, no, you help out. Uh, you help with this one, and that will take that port. Really important thing to take. Now help with this fight. Come on. Why, why is this so hard to do here? Because I don't have it as a front line. I have it as a fallback line, probably. So let's uh, create a front line with Italy. And everyone who is here, you're going to join that line instead. Go. Go. And, um... We couldn't quite get an encirclement, but we... We did get a little bit of help. Let's actually uh, have you go here. So they'll move up there. That should be, should be pretty good. And Germany is amassing their units, but they're not doing anything. December of 1938 is still really quick. This is kind of one of the things that actually happened in, in Bittersteel's game, too. That, uh, new, hold. 
that they didn't uh, they didn't get delayed that much, but they uh, did get delayed. So um, I am going to go ahead and delete these lines off of Hungary just so that the Soviets know, hey, don't worry about that. But I'm going to end this episode here. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, please do like, please do comment, please do subscribe down below. And uh, let me know what you like, what you didn't like. And, uh, yep, this gun definitely going better <laughs> than it was last time. Um, let's go ahead and get uh, forming cryptology department. So we can become spy, spy master and we can get some spies going. Uh, but I have been Tuckable Gaming and I will see you in the next one.